G'day, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm out local area around Bendigo and I'll be out for a few hours. It's gonna be mid 30s today, so I don't wanna stay out too late. But uh, first target and it's a bit of gold that I can see sticking through a bit of Kinder Surprise. So I'll show you how I sort of went about it, give you a look at what it came out of and see how big this bit of gold is. There's a car just there. What I'm out and about, I do really like to look for and work these little raised edges along the side of the worked little gully. You can see here, see how it drops down, but there's a lot of workings all the way through here. And uh, yeah, as I said, first target. So, and you can see here what I've been working. So that raised edge, just there, pretty hard stuff. You can see gravels through it. Um, so I was fairly confident this one might be a bit, I should have got the camera. But I'll give you a listen, give you a look at it. So this is the stuff that it's in, and you might be able to see the piece of gold just sitting in it there. But fairly hard, good mix of hardened clays and little bits of quartz and all types of gravelly stuff, which is what I sort of look for. But yeah. You can see that little piece of gold there. I'll give you a listen and get it out. Doesn't sound too bad, but oh, it's still sitting in there. Ah, that's cool. There it is. A little one to start the day, but it's a good start when you can get out of the car and get a piece in five minutes. I'll be giving away this EcoFlow River 2 over on my Patreon page when I reach 50 Trooper members. Be sure to click my Patreon link in the description to explore it further. Cool, just got my second piece. I'll show you where it's from. So I've walked along these edges, still doing these flatter spots. Definitely where it's harder compact clay. Uh, where am I? Up here. I just got a small bit just in there. That little scrape was only like two little scrapes. Give it a look. There she is. Number two. Probably going another 15 minutes to find that one. Beautiful. Try and get a live dig for you next. So I've had a few lead shot targets, a few screaming junk targets. Had a real nice low high, but it wasn't that deep. And then it really screamed when it came out of the hole. And that was just a bit of an old rusty nail, unfortunately. It can sound pretty good. I've got a target in an interesting spot here, so I'll give you a look. And uh, hopefully it's a bit of gold. It bloody should be, I think. So you can see here, in a bit of a gully at the moment. Obviously the water erosion down there. We have a target, sort of in that area. So I was just cruising along, put a pull up here. A target there. Came around this side. On that side there. So just make sure there's no rubbishy targets down below it so I can scrape it. Let's get her out. I'm quietly confident about this one. Let's see what it holds. I should have it. I see. Not much at the moment. Bring it closer. Get it out. Hard stuff. Very hard. Surely it's not a hot rock. Don't tell me it's a hot rock. Oh, I think it is. Good sound though, jeez. 
That can't be a hot rock. But yes, I think I might wait till I get home and give that a good bust up. But there's got to be gold in that, surely. Surely. Nothing in there, guys. Oh, that's unfortunate. After many more lead shot and fly swats, I've got another target in the side of this mullet. Give me a look. I'm not overly confident with this one, although it is nice and compact. By the feel of it. Nah, already out. Could still be a bit. Think positive. Got it. Small, whatever it is. <laughs> it's gold. Just a little bit. Number three or number four with the speci. There's a little baby one. I just caught up with Pete from Pete's Gold Adventures. Uh, he's having a subs day out, so popped in, had a little bit of a tech there, more of a chat than anything. Didn't find anything, and I've come back to a little spot not too far away from where he was having the event. I've got a target, and I've walked all the way up here without really anything. So let's go and have a look. A little target just there I've had a scratch it was a faint target so I've had a scratch just to confirm but it sounds like there's a definite target there now so we can see okay, you can see that is just nice sticky clay there gold in this area loves to stick to that here somewhere amongst these ants. What have you got for us? Oh yes, it's a nice bit. <laughs> oh, unreal. Third target, this little spot. As you can see though, I did walk quite away with not much. As soon as I saw that nice orange clay though, I was like, yeah, come on, we should be on here. So, I'll give you a look at this. There she's after a bit of a clean up. How beautiful is that? Nice chunky little bit. 0.2 or 0.3. Target was just there, that bit of gold. And just here is a uh, more of a surface target. It's a lot noisier. It's making me think it could be rubbish, but could well be gold as well. So let's have a look. It's not going to be deep, this one. Yeah, it's already got up. Now I just got another bit and I really should have filmed it because I'll give you a look at this ground that was in. 
bit shallower than the other one and it's a bit smaller but you can see yet again the type of ground it was in the same as before nice nice dense clay i'll give you a look at this one beautiful gold isn't it now this one on the other side a little spessy got a bit of quartz still attached to it a very cool piece